What's up, homies? It's your boy M Sage, and this is M Sage's Follower Pet System for VRChat Avatars version 3.0. And in this system, I went ahead and added new animations to every single pet. All pets are now grabbable, some pets are now mountable, and now we have new things such as color changers that are in game, etc. etc. But this video isn't a change log for the new system. This video is to show you guys how to install the new system, which is pretty much exactly like the old one, except there's just a couple changes. But let's get right into it. Now, first things first, you're going to need the creator companion. By this point, you should have the creator companion by now. VRChat has been saying that the creator companion is basically required in order to properly function with unity in vr chat so go ahead and open up your creator companion and if you are just now downloading it then go ahead and import your project into the creator companion and if you're already at this stage good for you now what you're going to do is go to manage project for the project you want the pet on and you want to make sure you have the avatars 3.0 manager installed make sure you have the newest version it's going to go ahead and import that into your unity project and now that you finish importing that and you have your unity project open you're going to go ahead and import the newest version of the follower pet system and right now the newest version is 3.0 a it's very important that you get the newest version of the system installed into your project go ahead and open that into our project like so and now we can go ahead and install any pets that we would like to have onto our avatar. And in this case, I will be installing Nova the Terra Star into our project. Just click and drag the Unity package on in, click import. And now we have the pet in our project. Now you just need to navigate to the pet itself, which should be found in the MCHS Follower Pets 3 folder. Then you go to the actual pet folder, which is Nova the Terra Star. And then you go to the prefabs folder. In this case, we just have the default pet. We don't have any custom skins installed at this time. Then we're going to go over to our avatar and we're going to click and drag the pet into the hierarchy, not directly to the avatar, like so. Then we're going to want to click and drag the pet to the avatar afterwards. That way it has its correct scaling. And just to make sure that the pet is centered with our avatar, we're going to make sure that the position is at zero, zero, and zero. And now we have to actually install the system to our avatar. Now, earlier you installed Avatar Manager version three. In order to access that, you're gonna to wanna to click on the VR Labs tab at the top and click on Avatars 3.0 Manager. And you'll have this window pop open. Click and drag your avatar over to that spot at the top click on the FX layer drop down and you want to click on add animator to merge. What you're going to going to do is go to the MSAGES follower pets three folder and you'll see pet.fx. That is the FX layer you're going to want to merge. After you click on that to be the FX layer that you're going to merge, you click on merge on to new. This is so that you avoid any breaking issues you may have with updating the pet or things like that. Click on merge on to new and you're going to want to make sure you have four parameters checked pet.int checked pet.y checked pet.color1 and pet.color2 both checked and make sure all of them are synced as well now we're almost done all we need to do is add the pet menu to our expressions menu which right now i have my expression menu here click on it here and i need to add a sub menu onto this menu here which i'll just click on add control but i already have added one right here change the type to sub menu and make sure that the actual menu that is selected is the pet menu now the system and the pet are now properly installed now there's just one or two more things left for you to do what you need to do is make sure you click on the pet drop down arrow and you'll see avatar tracking points drop down on that and you'll see something called bone tracker. This is where you select the proper bone that the pet is supposed to be tracked to. On each pet page, you will see recommended tracking bone or recommended uh, station point. It will show that on the page itself. And in this case for this pet, it is the head. So we're gonna navigate to our avatar's head. Should be pretty simple. Here we go, the head bone. And we're just gonna click and drag it to the parent constraint on the bone tracker like so then we're going to open up bone tracker find pet final location 
make sure that's lined up exactly where we need that to be. Most of the time it's going to be directly on the very top of the head. And there you have it, you are pretty much ready for upload. However, there are a few very important things you must note. One, do not move or scale the pet outside of the given locations. You will see pet location right here, this node right here. That is the only thing you're allowed to move. If you want to have the pet kind of lower or higher, maybe right there, you change pet location. If you want to change its scale, then you open that and you click on pet scale and you can change the scale of that. That's how you change the size of the pet. If you want it kind of small, click on pet location and move it maybe a little bit closer, something cute like so. That is how you change the location and the scale. Do not change it any other way. Now, if you've done everything correctly, you should be able to just go ahead and upload your avatar. And now if you did everything correctly, you should have your pet in game. It should be able to follow you around. It should have the scaling in the location that you set. And if you go to your pet menu, you can hit pet stay and the pet will stay in place as so. Pet will follow you around. When you click pet stationed, the pet should go to the spot that you set earlier, which was your head. You should also be able to make the pet follow other players, such as I have a player here. And if I hit follow other player, it will then find his chest. And when he walks around a little bit, it will follow him like so. And then let me get that pet back. And then also it should be grabbable, which can you go ahead and grab the uh, star real quick? Yep, and now it's freaking out and it wants to come back. And there you have it. That should be the complete pet put onto your avatar. And now if you have any other further questions about my pets, you can join my Discord server and mess or message me directly on Discord. And that will be all for this tutorial. And if you enjoyed, enjoyed today's tutorial, then go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to become part of the homie family, then go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys later. Peace and much love.